some of the people who seem to scream the loudest about what they consider to be the grooming of public school children are some of the same people who will have no problem teaching their kids that their own thoughts will make them burn in hell for eternity. Are the same people who would enable a mindset in their children that would allow them to be molested by priests. Look, I, I've made it clear. I am against the notion of teachers, public school teachers, being activists or teaching kids to be activists. That's just not something they should be doing. Especially since it really can only go in one direction. You know, if, if they go in the direction of religion, I mean, there are some places, people have told me about, hey, there's still places where they do push the religion. It's like, yeah, that, that sucks. They shouldn't be doing that. But in, like, most major cities, if, if any sort of teacher tried to do that, they'd be called out, hey, you're indoctrinating, right? You know, I, I just don't think we should be giving either side excuses to say, hey, you're indoctrinating kids. We, sh we just shouldn't be doing it. Public elementary schools shouldn't be teaching about the many variants of sexuality and gender. But none of those things are grooming, in my opinion. Teaching about sexuality and gender or uh, teaching kids to be activists is not grooming, in my opinion. I mean, I guess it would depend on which definition of grooming you're using. You know, basically, I do not think that teachers are trying to make kids easier to exploit and they're not trying to ex sexually exploit them themselves. I mean, I'm sure that there are some exceptions where some people become teachers just so they can be in those situations. Just as some people become priests for similar reasons. Or some people become police officers to just so they can have authority over other people. But it's not the rule. It's the exception. And when this sort of thing happens, we should call it out. Now, if you're using a non-sexual-oriented definition of grooming, which is the practice of preparing or training someone for a particular activity, then just teaching math would fit that. Shop class and home economics would fit that even more. But I think a lot of people just switch which definition they're using whenever it suits them. It's like how people will switch which definition they're using when they say words like racism or racist. Are people talking about institutional racism? Are they talking about racism as a system? Are they talking about people who think some races are superior and others are inferior? Are they talking about people who treat others poorly because of their race? Are they talking about people who aren't actively anti-racist? And so the word grooming seems to be the overused buzzword at the moment. I don't think it's helpful at all to discuss things in this way. It's hyperbolic and it demonizes public schools in general. It makes public school teachers out to be evil entities that are, that are pushing Satanism. You know, pushing satanic messaging. Look out! I think this whole anti-grooming movement has the eventual goal of teaching religion in schools, in public schools. You know, religion or religious values in general. Citing the notion that religious values instill unity and order. And that concerns me a lot. As I've said before, it, it, it just seems like there is a growing type of fascism. It's mostly on a social level, but it's still a growing type of fascism that even people who are centrists are kind of buying into. It wants heavily enforced law and order. It wants strict social standards, strict rules, strict roles. And it uses the Bible as some method of getting its authority. It's pretty easy to see that when fascism comes to America, it will be wrapped in the U.S. flag and carrying a cross.